Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the mod Integrated Dynamics uh, to read a block type. So a block type from a sensor, and this is uh, answering a question that was from a Reddit post, uh, but I think it's actually worth showing how to do. And as most things with Integrated Dynamics, it's pretty powerful. You can definitely do it, but it's not incredibly intuitive. But this is going to be the basic setup. Uh, it's reading a block of birch wood and putting out a redstone signal. And so I'll show you how to set it up quickly here. All right, so first thing, I'll just put down the birch block here. So we're going to want a block reader from Integrated Dynamics. You could tell if you shift click that it says reads block information. We're going to put that up against the block here that we want to read. And then we're going to take and put on a logic cable here. And then just for the purposes of debugging, we're going to put on a display panel. All right. So go onto the block reader and right click. And we want the type of block. And you can see here it says Birchwood. Okay. So we're going to click in a variable card. You'll need those. Um, and then we'll copy that out. So as soon as I put in the variable card there, it copied that information over there. Now it's not actually copying birch wood, as you can see. It's copying an address of the aspect of block, basically, from this block reader. The aspect of block here is what that is copying. And right now it just so uh, happens to be equal to birch wood. If we put something different in front of it, then it would be different. Okay, so it's it's birch wood. If I got rid of the birch wood and I put gold, it would say gold. It's just reading the block information from that location. All right, that's just important to keep in mind as you build up. All right, so we're going to add another cable there. And just because I already know what I'm going to do, I'll add another cable here. All right, on this cable here on the left, we're going to put a redstone writer. We'll just connect it right to it. Uh, on the other one, we're going to put a variable store. Okay, a variable store will store your variables, thus the name variable store. Uh, we'll put that guy right on the other side. And then we need to lay down a logic programmer. You can use the portable one, but just so it's clear, we'll use this one. All right, so right-click to open your logic programmer. Okay, and we'll take out this card, and we really don't need the display anymore at this point um, and what we want to do is we want to search in here for a block the block type variable is what we want all right this is a location variable as I mentioned uh, we want an actual block variable that equals birch wood because that's what we're going to be searching for so you search for block up here you'll get this type Let's copy that to the variable card Created a new variable card, right? So now this variable card is actually equal, the value of it you can see is equal to birch wood. And then this one is equal to the block reader location. So now we just want to be sure that those two are equal to each other. So we just type equal, and we could also type the equal sign, whoops, uh, here. And we want the double equals there, and programming the double equals means that they are equivalent to each other. Right? And so we'll put the block reader card here on the left, and then we'll put our variable card on the right and be sure that they are equal to each other. And uh, you can see that, well, let's go ahead and put in this to copy it over because we can see that the uh, equals is in the category relational. We could take any input type, uh, any two input types, and it'll give us out a Boolean value. That's what we want is a Boolean value that says true or false. So right now it's going to say they're true because those two types are equal to each other. All right. So now we have this variable card. And we will put that variable card here in this redstone area where it is looking for a Boolean. It says aspect redstone type Boolean. That's what it wants, a Boolean card. So that's what we're going to give it, this guy. All right, now you're going to see this X here because it says the ID 8 could not be found and ID 9 could not be found. Well, that's why you put those in the variable. You can see that's variable ID 8. And that's variable ID 9. So we need to make those available in the network. So we put those in the variable store. This is connected to the network. Now they are available in the network. 
this guy's okay now. It's got a check, green check box, check mark beside it. It's good. So, redstone, yes. All right. Yes, redstone is active because it is now writing that positively when this is true. And it'll output, output the redstone signal. Okay, so it, it tells us the state there is true. Now, get rid of this. State is false. Okay, no redstone. Uh, put a block of gold there. Still false. Okay, because it's looking for the that type. Uh, we can't see it from here, but we know that's looking for birch wood because that's what we specified here. And then if you want, or here, now if you wanted to change this to another type of gold, then you could rewrite this card uh, and you would be fine for that. But anyway, guys, that's how you do it. Um, not that hard, really. You just got to remember uh, that you need to get the block information from the block reader, and then you need to set that up for a type. And then those two uh, block types need to be equal to each other, and you need to test for that. And that'll give, make sure you get a Boolean out, and that will do it. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. This is Scott Omato, guys. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>